Duncan Hayne. Well, Mr Speaker, at a time of necessary cuts in government, some of my constituents would like to see UKTI's Defence and Security Organisation closed. Uh, what, what assurances does the government receive from our allies who receive defence exports that, that they will not be used either to harm or indeed to intimidate their own people? Well, I'm very sorry the Honourable Gentleman wants uh, to see um, uh, the UKTI DSO close, as I can see a few faces on the other side which uh, view that prospect with great alarm, as indeed do uh, all my colleagues on this side. Uh, DSO and the Shadow Secretary of State, DSO is doing a fantastic job. But this is not uh, uh, done in isolation. This is done in accordance with long-established law uh, under which we ensure, to the best of our ability, that we do not export irresponsibly. And I repeat to the on gentleman, who clearly failed to uh, understand the pur purport of my original message, that defence exports are not simply there to generate income. They are there to strengthen alliances with existing allies and to promote alliances with new important allies in a very volatile world. <laughs>